Welcome, and thank you for joining me in another exciting episode from Royal Pumpkin Academy, brought to you by Royal Pumpkin, the modern-day vegan's number one choice for all natural and eco-friendly wellness products. Make the switch today, and remember, happy fish, healthy planet. Hello, hello, hello. It's me again, making more soap. Today, it's going to be a restock of one of our favorites, coffee. Everyone loves coffee, right? So we've got some coffee grounds in our lye solution here. We're just going to drop this right in there. Then I'm gonna give it a bit of a mix. I will be right back. mixture we're going to add some coffee essential oil it's just coffee um, roasted coffee extract roasted coffee bean extract there we go nice rich smell of coffee right now this is just way perking me up right now just smelling all of this it smells so good Sometimes I have to remind myself, you cannot lick the bowl as good as this smells. That would not be good. liquidy to do my top so I'm going to just pause it and I'll bring you back when it sets up a bit more. Be right back. So I did a test. It works. We're good to go. So we're just going to do a very light texture on the top here.
beautiful. And I think we'll call that done. And give her a spritz rubbing alcohol on the spot. Beautiful. Ugh, still a bit runny, but I'm just gonna leave it here for about 24 hours. And then I will bring you back for the cut. See you in a bit. Oh, oh. All right, all right. So we're back. About 24 hours later, we're going to be cutting the coffee bar with the ground coffee on top and mixed inside. So, we're going to just pop this out of here. Oh, it's Still a bit tacky, so I'm just going to smush it together, yeah, and bring it back in a bit. Okay, so I waited about an hour, I put it in the fridge, <laughs> sorry, I put it in the fridge for about an hour, and now it's unmolding a little bit better, still a bit sticky on that side. I think she's good to come out. So, go ahead and break this seal here. Slow coming. Okay. Oh, yes. And because I don't want any lines for my soap, I remember we need to do it on an angle or on its side. That way, the little wire thingies don't drag the coffee all the way through the soap so you don't get soup like big drag lines. Just a little scary coming down. Okay. So we're gonna see the next one if that was even necessary. But there she is. Oh, so beautiful. My favorite bar actually to use myself. Last time I made this, my aunt cleared me out. She absolutely loves coffee. So anything coffee that I make, she just buys the entire stock which I wonder why I didn't make two loaves one for the store and one for her but I'm sure she still has a few bars left over from my last batch so it should be good beautiful I love how evenly dispersed all the coffee is it's turned out Wonderfully. Okay. So I'm going to 
see if I can just cut it normally. Maybe put the coffee on the other side. So there it is. Do frag marks? I don't know. We'll see. We'll see. We'll see. Okay. okay, that's a lot. <laughs> Still got a bit of a drag there, but not bad. I like beautiful. Well, these are going to be on the shelf for you know the drill, four to six weeks, and then they'll be on my store in my Etsy store for purchase. Thanks for much for watching. I'll see you guys later. Thank you for watching, and don't forget to hit that like and subscribe button to get more content from Royal Pumpkin Academy. Until next time, bye!